Hello again, thank you so much for watching. This is John Newfer. Uh, today we're going to be discussing Velocity Mortgage Capital and the types of loans we provide. So first things first, who is Velocity Mortgage? Velocity Mortgage is a wholesale direct lender. And so what that means guys is Velocity does not have a retail front. So we really have no way of providing loans directly to the borrowers unless we work through our broker relationship. So um, what we're doing here at Velocity is we pretty much just represent the money. Uh, we're the lender in the back end, but all of the front end origination and all the communication direct with the borrower happens through our broker relationships and our lender relationships. Uh, I have several relationships here at Velocity that are both brokers as well as lenders who like to use our money. So uh, that's who Velocity uh, Mortgage is. We're a wholesale direct lender and we source most of our business from brokers and lenders. Now we lend on two types of properties in essence, uh, and that is investment one to fours, as well as commercial properties. And we're gonna dive further into this uh, later on in the presentation. Now the types of loans we provide, we provide small balance loans. So our niche in the market is the small balance market. That's between $75,000 and $5 million, $5 million loan amount. Now, the cool thing about Velocity is we are a no income, no asset, no tax verification lender to the borrower. And so basically what this means is all, all of our underwriting is focused strictly on the subject property itself as well as the borrower's credit. Those are the two things that we focus on in our underwriting. But when it comes to the borrower's personal, personal income, assets, or tax returns, uh, we frankly don't care. <laughs> Now moving on, what types of loans does Velocity provide? Um, there's really only two types. We provide short-term money, and we're gonna dive further into that later in the presentation. And then we, pr pr we provide long-term money. So this would be like a typical 30-year fixed term. So let's jump into uh, short-term money. Now our short-term money is uh, pretty straightforward. It's a 24-month interest-only loan. Uh, we lend strictly on one to four investment properties. So basically what that means is single family properties, condos, duplex, um, triplexes, and fourplexes. Now there's no minimum FICO score requirement on this loan. Uh, and I would say that is our most competitive edge on the market with this product is, uh, you know, someone could have a FICO score of 400 and we would still do the loan for them. Now the max LTV is 75% with the pro with this program. However, we do have thresholds. So if the borrower's credits between 500 and 649, they're going to get a 70% LTV, and if they're anywhere below 499, we're going to give them a 60% LTV. But still, regardless, there is no minimum FICO score requirement to get a loan with us through this program. Now the rates are really competitive uh, across the board. So the rates average between 8.74% and 10%. Um, there are some states that have a 1.5% rate add-on, and so what you want to do is just go to our rate sheet. Uh, the, the name of this program is Quick Fix, and look that up. Now we do charge one to two points with this, with this uh, program, uh, and that's paid at closing, and you actually have the option of which one you want to sell. So we provide two different options. You know, if you want to sell two points, um, there's no prepay. If you want to sell at one point to the lender, then uh, there's there's a there's an exit fee to the borrower. So, anyways, you actually get to choose as our broker relationship or a lender relationship if you're a table funder. Now let's move over to our long-term money. Now Velocity's long-term money, it's a 30-year fixed, fully amortized loan. So that's just about what everybody's looking for on the market today. However, we do provide a second option, which is a three-year arm. So if the borrower doesn't want to go with our 30-year, which has a, you know, a decently long prepay, uh, they can go with a three-year arm, which is a shorter adjustable rate mortgage. Now, this prop, I mean, this loan provides uh, 
we provide loans on one to four investment properties. Um, we're going to be doing multifamily properties as well for the long term program, as well as commercial properties. So on the last program, the short term money, we could only provide it on one to four investment properties. So typical like fix and flip style loans. But this loan, on the other hand, we can do all property categories from single family to multifamily to commercial. So. Now, minimum FICO score is 650 here, um, though we will make an exception at a 620 credit. However, the LTV will just get reduced to 50%. But typically, we are going to lend 75% on the program. Now, rates are going to range between 6.99 and 8.99 on most deals. Now, there are rate add-ons. Um, there's a 50 per, or excuse me, a, a 50 bip rate add-on for refinances, and then some states also have their own rate add-ons. So sometimes the rate will end up being a little bit higher than 8.99. However, uh, on most of the deals that we originate here at Velocity, um, the the rate typically lands somewhere between these two numbers. Now, the cool thing about this program is we do not charge any points. Um, so as a broker, you're going to have more margin, uh, more room available to charge your own points. Now, what is Velocity not willing to lend on? Um, now, we have a lot of you know, types of properties that we do like lending on, but sometimes it's best just to go over you know, what we don't like to lend on. Now, number one, we do not lend on ground up construction. So that's the very first thing. So um, I can lend on like refinance a spec home. Um, and then on our quick fix loan, we will consider doing rehab money on single family one to fours. But when we're talking straight up ground up construction, that's a no go for velocity. We do not lend on modular homes. So that includes like a mobile home itself. However, if you have a mobile home park, that's a different story. I would place that under our commercial loan. We do a 30 year fixed or a three year arm and a mobile home park would be fine. But modular homes and just regular mobile homes by themselves, I cannot lend on. We do not lend on special use properties. So that would include a standalone restaurant, um, institutional use such as schools or church buildings. And then obviously like hotels and motels, those are pretty special use. Uh, we get a lot of those inquiries because they're really difficult to fund. Uh, however, um, you know, we don't lend on them ourselves. Now we also do not lend on rural properties. So um, when I, we actually have our own definition of rural, so we, we give you guidelines for that. So our guideline is that the subject property must be located in a city that has at least 25,000 population, or if it's below 25, we want to see that it has at least 3,000 population, but be within 25 miles of a city that has 100,000. So basically what we're telling you here is we're looking for properties that are in metropolitan areas or at least suburban areas uh, to lend on. Now finally, like I said earlier, we, we will provide rehab money on single family one to fours, but that just does not include ground up construction. So remember that. Now the third thing, you know, what, what does Velocity love lending on? What, what types of properties do we like to see? Uh, number one, single family residences. We, we talked about this earlier. Now it is okay if the property is vacant, we will refinance or we will help you purchase the building. Um, so this includes SFRs, condos, duplex, triplex. Um, and then we will, we are willing to do a blanket loan for portfolios. So if a borrower has a portfolio of, let's just say 32 properties, uh, we will be willing to do a blanket loan as long as all those properties are located in the same state. So it's a per state basis on the blanket loans. Multifamily and mixed use. So we will lend on multifamily mixed use properties. So that includes like a, it's unlimited units. So five plus units and it doesn't really matter. It could be a hundred units. It could be six units. Um, and then mixed use would be anything like um, a property that has a commercial use as well as a residential use and it's actually being utilized as that. So let's just say there's like a restaurant downstairs and there's some residential upstairs and that's what the building's actually being used for. We're going to we're going to call that our mixed use property. Now we do want to see at least a minimum of 70% occupancy if we're going to be refinancing or purchasing uh, if the borrower wants to be getting our max LTVs. Now, the cool thing with this one is if you have sep two separate locations, like a, you know apartment complex on one side of the state and apartment complex on the other side of the state, again, we are willing to port blanket these portfolios. So um, two separate buildings, not a problem, we'll blanket those. Now the third 
category that we have of velocity is commercial properties. So this includes anything retail, warehouse, we will lend on office spaces, uh, business condos, that's always a, a big question. Do you guys lend on business condos? Yes, we do. Uh, self storage, we will lend on auto repair, and then light manufacturing. Uh, we'll also do some light industrial, uh, but we just gotta make sure there isn't some like really huge machinery in there that would cost a lot of money if we were to foreclose um, to, to get it out of there. So anyways, uh, again, we wanna see at least 70% occupancy, and in this case, uh, we are okay with the uh, borrower occupying the property. So if the borrower runs the retail outlet, they occupy about 70% of the space, then great, we're willing to refinance or help them purchase. Now the big question everybody asks is how do I get paid? Um, so there's two ways you get paid. It just depends on what program that you're using. So for short-term money, uh, we, char you, we charge one to two points on the front, um, and then you can charge up to five points on the top of that. So uh, it has to be front-end origination. We do not pro provide YSP on the short-term money. However, you can earn up to five points on the HUD. On our long-term money, so if you're doing our 30-year fixed loan, you can charge a max of five points total. So that includes front-end and back-end origination. Now the max we allow you to earn on the back-end though is 2%. So that's your, your yield spread, 2% on the back-end. So again, max five points. So if you charge two points on the yield spread, the max you can charge on the front would be three points. So um, again, five points. So whenever you're working Velocity, just remember I can charge a total of five points. Now getting set up with Velocity is pretty simple. You can either get set up as a brokerage. Uh, and so basically what that means is Velocity would show as the lender on the initial um, CLA, our conditional loan approval, as well as on the HUD. So Velocity will just show as the lender all throughout the loan docs on this loan. Um, and you will show as the broker all, the, all throughout the loan docs, including on the HUD. So you can get set up with Velocity as a brokerage or you can get set up as a table funder. So a lot of my brokers that I work with love getting set up as a table funder because they get to actually show as the direct lender on the deal from start to close. So that, that includes on our initial loan approval, they will show as the lender, they can put their branding up there, and all the verbiage throughout all the contracts that we have will actually say their name as the lender from start to finish. Even on the closing paperwork, they'll, they will show as the lender. Now we do have a subsidiary company that will show on the HUD as the investor. And so this is truly Velocity's role. Velocity's role in all loans, including the brokered loans, is to be an investor. We essentially are just providing the money and you are the one working the deal on the front end, working with the borrower, talking to title, setting up insurance. So that's why we afford you the ability to charge YSP as well as um, as well as earn up to five points because we want you to take more of an active role with us. So you might as well get set up as a table funder. However, you are not required to get set up as a table funder. You can show as a broker if you want. Um, some, some brokers do not want to take on the liability of showing as a lender, even though at the end of the loan, um, all you do is sign the loan over to us, our subsidiary company, and, uh, and you, you are released of any obligation on the loan as the lender. So anyways, um, it's something to think about. It helps build your brand. It really does. And the borrower would never know Velocity is even involved, which is the, the neat thing. Um, so if you, uh, if you learned a lot on this video, I thank you so much. If you have any questions um, moving forward, feel free to reach out to me. Here's all my contact information and my ugly mug on the left hand of the screen here. Uh, once again, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.